As we learned about the E2 reaction, we referred to the reactive conformation of the substrate. The leaving group and the beta hydrogen needed to be anti and periplanar. We used Newman projections to show those reactive conformations, and they reminded us that, the, that most single bonds have free rotation. That is, they can spin more or less freely around a full 360 degrees, adopting whatever conformations they might like. While this free rotation applies to most single bonds, the single bonds in rings don't have such freedom. If they were able to rotate entirely freely, the rings would be ripped apart. In the smallest possible ring, a three-membered ring, no rotation is possible at all. Cyclopropanes are rigid and have only one possible conformation. If we draw a Newman projection along one of the CC bonds in a cyclopropane, we can see that all of the bonds are eclipsed. That's not very stable. In addition, cyclopropanes have 60 degree bond angles inside the ring. Neither of these situations is very happy, so cyclopropanes are relatively unstable. I mean, they exist. You can buy a tank of cyclopropane from most chemical suppliers, but it's certainly less stable than, say, propane. A four-membered ring, cyclobutane, has, actually has slightly more flexibility. If it was completely flat with 90 degree angles, all its substituents would be perfectly eclipsing. But it does have a little bit of flexibility to pucker slightly out of plane alleviating some of the eclipsing interactions. But it can't get full-on staggered. Cyclobu cyclobutanes are also relatively unstable, but they can be formed fairly readily. With larger rings, cyclopentanes and cyclohexanes, and bigger, there's much more flexibility. And the internal carbon-carbon bond angles can get at least pretty close to their desired 109.5 degrees. In addition, in these ring sizes, the, the substituents are free to adopt staggered conformations. For these reasons, Five- and six-membered rings are everywhere in nature. We'll spend the rest of the videos today examining six-membered rings and seeing how their conformations impact the types of reactions they can undergo.